Yeah, that's right. These cameras, they're loaded with the very latest technology, including the manufacturer says artificial intelligence. Now, the aim of these cameras is not just to capture crime in progress and record it for later prosecution, but to also try to deter it. San Francisco's law enforcement leaders were on hand, touting a new pilot program to use mobile security cameras, which can be set up in high crime areas. The city says it'll be deploying three live view technology cameras that can record crimes as they happen. Police Chief Bill Scott says the cameras can be a valuable tool to monitor crime in real time and will be immediately deployed to areas known for sex work and the drug trade. In the Mission District, where there is open air drug dealing, there's concerns about human trafficking. Um, one of these first units will be deployed in the Mission District, and then another one will be deployed in the mid market area uh, around the UN Plaza area. But the cameras don't just record. LVT says the cameras are also equipped with artificial intelligence that allows them to monitor the space around them and issue warnings to would be criminals. This is a no loitering area and is monitored 24 7. It uses a combination of security cameras, lights, speakers, and AI to eliminate blind spots, protect property, and deter unwanted behavior. San Francisco's district attorney says the video those mobile units capture could also mean the difference when it comes to successful prosecutions. And that's what technology provides my office, is the ability to more effectively prosecute our cases. San Francisco's mayor, London Breed, said the cameras are just the latest technology the city is adopting after voters approved Proposition E. She says overall, crime is trending downward in the city, and that since the adoption of drones and license plate readers, auto burglaries are down by 70 percent compared to last year. She says adopting new technology has helped the city arrest suspects in high-profile incidents almost immediately, which she says sends a clear message to other would-be criminals. Time and time again, it sends a clear message to people all over the Bay Area and the country that San Francisco has accountability and we will not tolerate under any circumstances lawlessness. Now, privacy advocates are raising concerns, saying San Francisco is rapidly turning into the, one of the most surveilled cities in the country. The Electronic Frontier Foundation saying in part, quote, subjecting some of the most vulnerable populations in San Francisco to this dragnet surveillance is a kitchen sink approach to public safety that capitalizes on residents' fear of crime, but may be ineffective. The city must be clear about how it plans to use these technologies and the protections it will give residents. We're live in San Francisco, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News.